Good afternoon and welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to the third video of this kind which is Nat's Empties, my beauty review, my one word review on the products that I've been using in the past month and the products that I've actually physically emptied so I can give you a good and honest review. Now the reason for my videos and my blog posts on this particular subject is purely because I have spent many years trying to find a person with a similar skin tone or similar things that they like that I could actually listen to and actually hear about the products that they've used, hear about the products they have physically emptied so that they're in a good position to actually give us a good review. So I thought to myself why not create a video and a blog post similar so that if anybody else is out there looking for the same type of thing that I was that I could hopefully provide a good useful service. Now if any of you have been watching me over the past few months as I, as I have gradually been building my YouTube video you will know that I love 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 to chat so I'll try and keep this as brief and short as possible but I really want to say a big welcome back. I took a couple of weeks off from fit shooting and I genuinely missed you all and I'm really happy just to be back talking with you guys and talk about the products that I've been using, the things that I've loved, the things that I would definitely say pass on and yeah, here we are. Now my first product of today's video is this MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Powder. Now I, as you know, I like to physically show you guys that I have physically used and completely emptied the product. And as you can see here, it is literally threadbare. It's got to the bottom, the metal at the very bottom. So you can know that I have genuinely use this product and, and I am genuinely in a good position to give this a review. Now this powder, I am not joking, is something that I have used for probably close to a decade. It has been around for a long, long time and it is something that I have used and used and used. And I think the great thing about this is even though this product is now empty, I think I've actually had this particular item for literally two years. So what I really want to tell you is this is a high, this is a good value product because you just genuinely get such an amount of good life with this. Now, I have used many makeup products over the years. I I think everybody kind of started off in, in MAC. And I remember, you know, when I first was buying makeup with MAC, I went and sat down, had a consultation with them all, and I, you know, got prescribed, say prescribed, it's like a medical thing. But I took various makeup products and used them throughout the years. But this one here is something that has stayed with me for literally a decade. And it's something that I would purchase again and again. And the reason being is that this for me is like a setting powder. It's like something that I would apply once I've put my foundation on and put my concealer on. And to be honest, I never really thought about it as a setting powder back when I first got this product years ago. It was more of a case that it was a finish. It was like you put the powder on so that it would give you this really soft, velvet, like young, youthful skin look. And I get it, 10 years ago, I did look young, youthful and so forth. But you know, you're always trying for that look. And I think because I've always had this product in my makeup bag, I haven't really ever thought about it like a setting powder because I think it was only once I didn't have any of this product left that I actually started to see how my makeup was moving around my face. So I actually repurchased this product and used it again. And yeah, it really is amazing. It's kind of just making your makeup stick. And I mean to the point where when I was younger, I used to go out, have makeup on in the evening. I'd wake up in the morning because I would be too drunk to wash my face. Yes, we all remember those times. And if you didn't, hmm, did you actually have a good time out? <laughs> but I'd wake up in the morning and my makeup would still be on my face and flawless. And my friends would always, always say to me, how comes? And I didn't really know at the time. And I suppose it's not until the era of the kind of Laura Mercier, the translucent setting powder, that I really started to look at this as, as a setting powder itself. Now I have tried all those really popular setting powders that are out there in the market. And you know, Laura Mercier is, is I have to say, probably one of the most popular the ones of them all and the only feedback I would say about those setting powders and it might be just purely because of my skin tone kind of my mixed race heritage is that when I apply that setting powder I do feel that it leaves kind of like that white cast kind of shadow on my skin it makes my skin look a bit more gray now if you're you are mixed race you'll understand that actually when it gets to the winter months and your skin is not seeing any of the sun your skin does start to have a little bit of a grey tone and it's not until you get a tan and the spring months come that you actually kind of get that kind of olive golden glow back into your skin. So for me, buying a setting powder that leaves me with a white cast 
um, setting isn't something that I would buy for. And this is where I think that this mineralized powder really comes into its own. You can buy it in various different shades. Now I am a medium dark, so that's the setting that I use, but they are literally, I, I would say probably over 15 different shades, don't quote me. Um, but I'd say there's over 15 different shades on there. So, it, you know, with MAC, with all their products, they, they have a, every product they bring out is for so many different skin tones. And that is what I love about the MAC brand is that is the fact that it's just so inclusive and someone who's mixed race has really seen and has really struggled with that, you know, especially 10 years ago. I mean, there's a lot more products now that are available for those people that have a different kind of normal skin tone. This is why this is my Holy Grail product. It is a product that when I put it on my skin, it doesn't leave me white casted. It in fact enhances my skin tone. It gives me that really, as I say, really velvet feeling, not powder look, just that velvet skin tone. And as I say, it does work its magic with its setting powders. And also regards to the price point of this, the price point on this, I think the, the actual retail price is £27. But the link that I'll pop in the comments below, in the description of this video below, I think currently when I when I looked at it is £21.20. So you get yourself a massive over £5 saving, which is amazing. So if you haven't tried this product, please, please do, because I would give this a one word review of you need to try this product. You need to buy this product because I genuinely do think you'll love it. And I'm sorry if you can hear the kind of drilling in the background. Our, our neighbours are kind of having an extension, so it's kind of hard to find a time to, to film this video without that sound effect in the back. So apologies for that. I hope it's not too bad. And I suppose my last other question with this is the fact that it's the type of compact that this is. Now, if you've used a setting powder before, you'll know that it comes in a pot. You kind of have to shake it out into the lid like a talcum powder effect, and then you apply it. And this is the other thing why I love this product is that it is completely mess free. It comes in a kind of dome shaped pressed baked kind of powder you literally just run your brush across it your powder brush across it and you just apply all over your skin it is completely mess free it means that you can put it in your bag you can apply on a night out you can apply it at work during the day and literally not be worried that this thing is going to spill in your bag and completely ruin your bag and last point on this because i am literally babbling away but it's got a mirror in it so it's amazing for you to be able to do your retouches this is a crucial item. This is a crucial item for your makeup bag. So this is a win product and I would love for you guys to go out there, buy it, try it, and let me know in the comments or on the various social media platforms what you thought of it because I genuinely will be buying this for years to come. You know, I'll be 60 still looking for that velvet effect and I will be buying this product. Now, my second product of today is the NARS Climax Mascara. Now, if you have watched my previous post, and if you haven't, I'll pop a link just up there. I think this is the right size. But yeah, you will know that before COVID, I would religiously, every three to four weeks, go to Kasha, my, my eyelash mascara girl, although she does my nails and she's amazing. In fact, I'll put her handle in this video so you can get to her as well. But I'd go to Kasha and have my eyelash extensions done all the time. They look flawless, they look really long. And obviously with COVID that set in, it meant that I wasn't able to get that service anymore. So I was really desperately looking for a mascara to give me that false lash effect. Now I have done a review on a, a mascara previously, and that was, I believe the Hourglass mascara, which I said was really good. It was a try. It didn't quite get there in the actual effect that I wanted for my lashes. But you know, I love NARS products. You know, I use their foundation. Um, I like a lot of their products. But what you can see, it's got a really cute brush. And I think you'll, you'll just see the size of it. This, this is kind of real cute little mini. And that's what I love. If I can buy a mini product of something that I've not tried before, then I will buy it because I think it's the best way to try a product without fully committing to the full price. You'll know it still have a little bit, it has, still has a little bit left on there. And that's because I just didn't really love, love, love it. And I will be throwing this away after I've spoken to you guys. But ultimately, um, it is a good product. It does lengthen your lashes. It is very delicate. That's what I would say. It's very delicate. It gives you that really nice mascara coated lashes with a little bit of length in them. Not enough volume for me. Um, and it's the kind of mascara I would reach for during the course of my week if I'm working from home or I'm staying at home. I'm not going out. I'm not doing a full makeup day. It's that kind of mascara that I would reach for. But I think the key thing is that 
if I wasn't going to do anything in my day, I tend to not wear makeup in at home because I like to my you know my skin to breathe. The only time I really wear makeup when I'm just chilling at home is if because I want to lift my mood a little bit. So for that reason, I wouldn't repurchase this product. Now the full price for this product is £22. What I would say is if you are not a false lash look effect person, you're not looking for that, then this might be worth trying. But for me, the one word review is pass. I will be passing. I'm still looking for that holy grail mascara. I am actually trying something else right now. So I'm going to come to the camera and you can have a look at my lashes now, but I'm trying out a new mascara. So I hope to be telling you about that in a few months when it's kind of used or dried out and I'll let you know. But yeah, this is a pass for me, but no shade on NARS because I love their products. Now over to my third product which is in fact a moisturiser and moisturiser for me are one of the hardest products I can ever buy. I have to say when it comes to beauty products I find that there is just so much variety out there that actually if I go looking for a kind of holy grail moisturiser that I generally find it overwhelming and I think this is why I bought this product because I found other people that had reviewed it and, and had very high reviews about this on Instagram and that kind of led me to it. Now you'll notice that this is actually cut up, I'll bring it to you, but this is the Alloys of Skin Antioxidants Peptide Daily Treatment Moisturiser that you will put in the day and allow this treatment to work in the evening. Now what you'll know is from this product, <laughs> it has been cut in half and that is purely, and you can see it's completely empty, that is purely because this product is so expensive that the thought of leaving moisturiser at the bottom of the tube generally makes me feel sick. <laughs> this product is £105 and I have to say for me, this is the most money I've ever spent on moisturiser. That isn't that that doesn't mean that I will not spend this type of money on moisture. In fact, this is my second tube. But I think when you spend that kind of money and you're not used to spending that kind of money, you want that product to do magical things. Now I understand the price of this product being £105 purely because the amount of active ingredients that you have got in this. This is a brand which seriously heavily, heavily invests in science. It heavily, heavily makes sure that your that the actual product you get doesn't have to look the prettiest but it has to have zillions of ingredients active ingredients which are generally going to change your skin and I think that's why I kind of kind of resisted giving you guys a review on this product after only using one tube because I think with moisturizers I do feel like it's a little bit cruel to give it a review just after one tub because ultimately no moisturizer is going to change your skin in a, in a course of two months or maybe there is something out there and if there is a moisturizer that is out there guys then please 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 let me know but I bought this moisturizer and I have to say I did really enjoy using it I remember my first tube I actually loved it my skin was getting a lot better and I think that's one of the hardest things about kind of reviewing moisturizers especially is that there's so many different factors you know for example if you're drinking lots of water if you're eating healthy it's very hard to attribute it to one particular thing if your skin is getting better so I bought another tube I continued using and I do genuinely love it I do feel like my skin looks plumper it feels soft it feels very hydrated and then that for me is a sign of a high performing product. However, for £105, I don't want to just sit here on my morals right now and say, this is the best that's going to get for me. I want to kind of look around and see if there's anything better. So that's kind of where I am currently. So what I would say, guys, is if you're in the market for a high performing active ingredient packed moisturizer and you don't mind dropping 105 pounds then i honestly would say try my one word review is try definitely try this however you know i'm not sitting here saying this is the holy grail i hope to try various moisturizers and trust me i will be telling you guys if i find the holy grail but i did love this it's just the price point which is massively sticky for me and I think the other thing to note that I need to tell you guys about is that for my second tube, I literally had to wait four to five weeks for this to restock in order to get my second tube. This is a really highly sought after product. So obviously the proof is in the pudding. It clearly works. It clearly is wanted. Um, so I think don't let it put it, don't, don't let my review put you off if you are looking for a high performing moisturizer. 
I will pop a link in the description as I have done for all the products that I'm talking about today, but I'll pop a link in the description. But actually I have to say, when I was trying to find a link for this, there was only one place that had it in stock. So if you are tr wanting to try this, click on the link below. I hope it still is in stock for you. But yeah, if it's not, just wait four to five weeks and I'm sure they will restock soon. Now, over to one of my favourite parts of this video. Now, if you are new here, you will not know it, but I cannot do a video and not talk about clothes, shoes, handbags a lot. So what I also bring to you is my favourite item of the month that I have purchased, whether it be clothes, shoes or handbags, and bring it to you and tell you why it's my favourite item. Now, my favourite product of this month is indeed this Loewe, Loewe? You know what, I actually had to Google how to say this brand, but I think it said Loewe bag. And if I'm really honest, I don't feel like I need to give you any introduction to this bag, because this is a bag that you would have seen probably all over Instagram already. You probably would have seen it all over Instagram last year. And it is a bag that I indeed was um and ah and about last year, probably at the start of COVID of whether to buy. And I decided kind of not to, and then it got to kind of summer and I was actually going on holiday to Ibiza and I thought, oh, I want to buy this bag. And it was completely sold out and I have been kicking myself ever since for not buying this bag. So as soon as this came back in stock this year for the spring months, I knew I had to buy it. Now, and the reason being is that these bags sell out pretty quickly. So if you are um and an iron about whether or not to buy this, I would say just kind of just bite the bullet, order it, see if you like it when it comes because it will be sold out soon. And I think when I was trying to find a link for this, I could only find it in stock in two places. So I will pop a link below to the places that are still in stock. So when this goes up, hopefully this will still be in stock for you guys. But I have to give you an honest review about this because I actually love this product much more than I thought I would. Now to give you a little bit of background, I had this Chanel canvas tote, which was a bag that I've been lusting over for a good five years. I kind of bit the bullet, I saved the money, I bought the product and I took it to Barbados with me and I have to say I didn't love it I loved the way it looked but I didn't love it purely because I was so funny about how I used that bag I take it to the beach and I was genuinely scared to put it on the sand I was scared to put wet towels in it because of the color transfer onto the white canvas and you know I got home and I thought this bag isn't for me like taking the bag out to the beach was genuinely giving me anxiety and that's not what a beach bag is about a beach bag should be able to just kind of throw in your bikinis throw in your towels chuck it on the beach and literally not worry about it and I think this is why this bag is it for me because I still wanted to design a bag and that it is a very lovely designer but I wanted a bag that was kind of rugged really versatile that it was kind of flexible and you can see how flexible it is now you can it's really beautiful it's got leather straps so it means that it doesn't matter you know if your hands are a bit dirty you're not going to worry about the color of it changing i love the fact that these are handcrafted each single bag is completely individual so it means that you know i had this bag my friend could get this bag and it would look slightly different and i love that about it i just you know when you're spending a bit of money and you know this has been handcrafted you know that it's money well spent and in addition to that i don't just see this as a beach bag i i have i have already you know clearly i haven't been to the beach yet but i have already worn this bag as kind of literally going for lovely walks throwing my picnic items in this i wonder how many kind of alcoholic can drinks you could get in this <laughs> i'm only joking but yeah you could take it on coffee dates i just love what it is i feel like this bag elevates your outfit it brings any outfit into that spring warm weather summer vibes i feel like this on your arm says you are committed to summer even if it is in the uk and it's raining and it's gray and it's miserable but yeah i love it and i feel like there is a lot of people out there that are i'm in an are in about whether to buy it and i have to say i have not looked back now the price point on this is 395 and this is because this is the larger one um i think the larger one is out of stock what i would say i'm 57 i've got quite a kind of big frame i'm a bit limmy um and i don't find that this bag overwhelms my frame however if i was like an inch smaller i would definitely go for the medium size because i feel like this could be a little bit overwhelming it is still a big bag i kind of just want to give you an idea of how big it is um so i would say like the medium will probably be the most versatile size for all but yeah i love it and it comes in different colors it comes with the brown and it comes in the yellow which is the i think the the paula ibiza 
shade or collection it comes in white oh I, you know i just love it and i am so happy that i managed to purchase one for this year and i I really do hope that with COVID easing that I'll actually get to go on holiday this year and actually get to use it. But like I said, I've used it for picnics and I've used it for coffee dates. So yeah, it's here to stay and I'm so happy to have it. And if you are, I'm in an hour in about whether or not to buy it, I just say buy the, buy the bullet before it sells out and buy one because I love it. And if you're not in the market for an expensive kind of beach bag at £395, there are quite a few dupes there. There are ones on, on H&M and there was a good dupe on Mango. So what I'll do is I'll pop a link to those two, the one in Mango from Mango and the one in H&M. I'll pop a link below for that as well if you're looking for a good dupe. But yeah, I absolutely love it. So there we are guys, we've gone through three beauty products and my favourite clothing, shoe, accessory item of the month. And I have to say, I have loved chatting with you, which probably means I have chatted a little bit too much. But if you have loved today's videos, I would love it if you could give me a thumbs up and you could click subscribe and you could see any other videos that I'm bringing. I regularly bring out videos every week and normally they are surrounded around clothes because I love clothes. But yeah, I hope you are enjoying these videos. I really thank you for the time that you spent with me. I am actually, just on a kind of random tangent, I am thinking about doing vlogs. So I'm just kind of taking you around with me on what I get up to in the week. But I just don't know if that's something that you'd really want to see. But yeah, if you could provide me any feedback, if you want to see vlogs in the future, let me know in the comments. If there are any products that you have tried or you've bought from this and you, you want to give me feedback, amazing, let me know. And just in general, if you want to say hello in the comments, I'd love to say hello. I'd love to get to know you guys more. But thank you very much for your time. I hope you have had a lovely week so far. I wish you a very good weekend and I look forward to seeing you soon. Take care, guys. Bye.